Hi friends, welcome back to Edupedia World. Last lecture I introduced you to the topic lens and we saw the basic definition of lens and the basic working how does the lens work. Today we will discuss certain terminologies which will be used throughout the discussion of lens. Therefore it is very important to exactly understand what those terms mean. The things that we will be discussing today are center of curvature, principal axis, optical center, focal points. In focal points we will discuss first focal point and second focal point. We will also touch upon what is a focal plane. And uh, throughout the discussion we will see what these mean and how will this help in our future discussions. Let us start with the discussion for center of curvature. Okay, so center of curvature, uh, we know that a lens is a optically transparent medium which has two surfaces, right? Like here the convex lens has this surface and this surface and the concave lens has this surface and this surface. And normally the surfaces are carved out from spherical bodies. Therefore, if we drew a imaginary spherical body to define this particular surface, it would have been this whole sphere, right? Similarly, for this surface, there would have been a sphere like this, right? And since this is a part of a sphere, obviously this sphere that we drew, the imaginary sphere that we drew, will have a center. Okay? And that center is exactly the center of curvature for the lens, for this surface of the lens. Similarly, there will be a center of curvature corresponding to this surface. So this will be the sphere, something like this, and somewhere around here will be the second center of curvature for this convex lens. Similarly, for the concave lens, we have shown one center of curvature due to this surface, the imaginary circle being this, and uh, this is the center of curvature. Similarly, if we would have drawn the complete sphere out of this, then somewhere beyond the image, beyond the screen, would have been our second center of curvature. Okay, so now that we have an idea about what the center of curvature is, we uh, I will touch upon a second term which is known as the radius of the curvature. Right? So since this is a sphere, imaginary sphere, out of which the surface of the lens is made, there will be a particular radius for this sphere, right? From here till here, from the center of curvature till the surface. And that distance is called the radius of the curvature, radius of curvature. Similarly here, the radius of curvature would have been from here till here. Okay? And uh, vice versa, there would have been a radius of curvature here and for this one beyond the screen. Okay, now you might wonder whether the radius of curvature due to this surface and this surface are equal or not. Actually, this can be equal, this can be different. If both the surfaces are carved out uh, from, the, from a similar sphere, that is their curvature, their uh, how much they are bent is of similar nature then the radius would have been same. If suppose for example this surface is more or less very flat and this is curved out a lot then for the sphere out of which this is made the radius would have been much less than a surface which would have been made out from a relatively flat surface. Okay, so depending on how much the surfaces are curved, the radius 
may either be equal if uh, the curvature is seen it may be different now that we have the idea about center of curvature let us discuss the principal axis okay just for completion sake here we can clearly see if this is the lens then this will be one sphere imaginary sphere this is another imaginary sphere this is my radius of curvature and this is another radius of curvature fine now let us see what the principal axis is principal axis is defined as the axis or the line that passes through both the center of curvature so uh, the one center of curvature being here and the other being here this line passing through both the center of curvature is called the principal axis of that lens similarly for the convex lens rather the concave lens here this is one sphere with center here and this is the other imaginary sphere with center here therefore this is our principal axis this line over here okay so we have till now seen the center of curvature we have understood the radius of curvature we have seen the principal axis for both the concave and the convex scenario next let us see what the optical center is okay so here we see that a ray of light which is passing through the point o passes undeviated it passes through the lens without deviation similarly here in the concave lens similar nature is observed this point where the light passing through remains undeviated is called the optical center of the lens so the optical center of the lens can be defined as the point on the principal axis it will be on the principal axis such that the ray of light which is passing through it emerges parallel to the direction of the incident ray now you will ask me why i am saying parallel rather than the zero deviation the reason is if the lens is very thick suppose the lens is very thick then what will happen there will be some deviation here and a counter deviation here resulting in the emergent ray being parallel to the incident ray but there will be no uh, there will only be a effective shift but the rays will be parallel right that will be the case when the lens is relatively thick but if the lens is very thin then what will happen is that uh, the shift the ray coming here slight deviation coming out here being parallel with this but the slight shift will be very very negligible and for all practical purposes for a thin lens we can say that the ray goes through undeviated even without any shift okay so more or less uh, optical center can be understood as the point on the principal axis through which a ray of light passes undeviated that is what you need to know fine now there are certain things written here as f1 to f2 uh, we will discuss about this in the next slide these are what is called as the focal point let us see what focal point is focal point there will be two sets of focal point first focal point and the second focal point let us first begin with the first focal point okay so the first focal point for a convex lens this is a convex lens is the point from where if the rays of light originate then on passing through the lens the rays of light will travel parallel to each other okay so first focal point of a convex lens is the point from which rays of light emerging will end up being parallel on the other end similarly first focal point for a 
concave lens is something like this. Suppose the ray of lights were incident in such a way that if there were no lens, then it would have struck at a single point, right? But in the presence of the lens, the rays goes away parallel to each other. Then that point where the rays of light would have met is said to be the first focal point of a concave lens. So be careful here. The concave lens, the focal point is kind of an imaginary point as in the rays actually do not come there. But it would have come there if there were no lens. Okay. So the first focal point is clear. Now corresponding to the focal point, there will be a focal length. And what is the focal length? Focal length is basically the distance of the focal point from the optical center. So F to this central point is the first focal length of this con vex lens. Similarly, optical center to this point F is the focal length for the concave lens, first focal length. Similarly, there will be something which is called as the second focal length. Now, what is the second focal length? The second focal length has this behavior. For the convex lens, suppose a parallel beam of light is coming and it strikes the lens strikes a convex lens then what the second focal point will be is the point where all the ray, rays converge so basically second focal point is the point of convergence of a parallel set of rays by the convex lens okay and similarly there will be a second focal length which is this length in the case of concave lens, suppose a parallel beam of light is coming in and the convex, uh, rather the concave lens will basically divert the rays of light, right? Because these are parallel, so this will go here. Something like this will happen. But if this diverse rays of light were to be drawn backwards, okay, if they were to be drawn backwards, then they would meet at a single point. And that single point would have been the second focal point for that diverging lens. Okay? And uh, correspondingly, that this length would have been the second focal length. Fine. So, uh, to recap the concept of fo focal point, the first focal point is basically the point from where the light is emerging or imagined to be emerging so that after refraction through the lens the rays travel parallel and second focal, second focal point is basically the point where the rays of light either meet or tend to meet when a parallel set of light pass through the lens fine now, there is another simple topic, simple point that I would like to discuss before closing the lecture is what is known as focal plane. Okay. Now, imagine that the ray of lights were parallel to each other, but the ray of light was not parallel to the principal axis. This is the principal axis. So, the ray of light is parallel, but so what will happen is that the ray of light are parallel to each other but not to the principal axis then the rays of light will converge at a point somewhere around here which is in the same plane with the focal point a plane parallel perpendicular to the principal axis at the same plane with the focal point and that plane is known as the focal plane. Similarly here, if the rays of light came like this, then they would have gone to diverge somewhere like this and as a result, the drawn back line would have met somewhere here, creating, a, re, creating the appearance of the uh, rays of light meeting somewhere here in the 
focal plane okay so focal plane is the plane which is perpendicular to the principal axis and which passes through the focal point that is what you need to know now that we have seen all the terminologies let us see certain points of note uh, one of the point of note is that the convex lens for the convex lens the focus is a real point uh, here and here whereas for the concave it is kind of imaginary in the sense that the ray of light doesn't really come there so with this I think we know a bit about the different terminologies related with the lens both with the concave and the convex lens we have an idea about focal point and the principal axis the optical center the radius of curvature I will close today's lecture with this have a great day